Hello everybody, welcome back to Space Flight Simulator. Today we are on our quest again to try to get all of the game's challenges completed. Last time we went for the moon challenges and for some reason it didn't give us moon tour. Even though I landed on three separate landmarks, I even tried to return the lunar lander and it still didn't give it to me. I think that's gonna affect the way we do the Mars missions today because landing on Mars is easy, but land on Mars, Phobos, and Deimos in one flight, then return, that's gonna be very, very hard, especially since I think that we have to use the same lander for all three without refueling even two. So we need to launch off of Earth. We need to get in orbit around Mars. We need to take our lander to Phobos, Deimos, and the surface of Mars and bring it back. So we're gonna have to build the mothership first. I think just something like this. Is that gonna have enough fuel? Okay, so I'm thinking something like this for the mothership, but for the lander, I'm gonna wanna try to put as much fuel on as possible. So I'm thinking maybe a, a wide lander. Okay, so here's our mothership design right now, and then here's what I think I'm gonna use for the lander. Um, you can actually launch them with them touching like this, because the docking port will latch onto the engines, kind of like a decoupler. I wanna try to get all of this to Mars orbit without using any of this fuel. So to do that, we're gonna need a pretty big rocket. Let's get building. Okay, very, very large rocket. I think this will do it though. Basically, all of this is just to get this section into the Mars orbit. All right, here we are on the launch pad. If you'd like to download this rocket, the link will be in the description. If you'd like to play with this rocket in your games, here we go for the Mars challenge launch. Attempt one. Okay, it takes off, that's good. Did the fairing slide down? It looks like it did. That's okay. That's funny, I guess it wasn't latched up here. Oh, all of them run out at the same time, nice. Okay, we can work with that then. Can you go up more? This rocket's just so heavy, it's hard to get it into space. There we go, now we're pushing up. We'll cut here, and then we'll wait till we're about right here, and then we will boost sideways, and that'll put us into orbit. Oh, the fairing, what is it doing? Our fairing definitely wasn't attached. Look at that, it's literally floating. Can I just destroy it then? Okay, we just don't have a fairing, that's okay. <laughs> okay, so hopefully this stage will push us into orbit and on our way to Mars. That's the goal with this one. Here we go, okay. We're in low Earth orbit now, we still have 64% on this stage, perfect. Okay, so now we're gonna zoom out and we're going to locate Mars. So we might actually have to wait for Earth to be in a transfer window, but it looks like it is, so perfect. So now all we have to do is click on this transfer window and warp to it, and this will give us a speed we have to get to. And we need to go 800 meters per second faster. Here we go, on our way to Mars. What this is gonna do is push our orbit. Usually if we're going to the moon, we'd only have to push it out to here, but since we're going to Mars, we have to push it all the way out of Earth's sphere of influence entirely, and that will take basically a trip around the sun and meet up with Mars about here. Oh, I knew this was gonna happen. We went past the transfer window, so we're actually gonna have to wait another cycle. So we're just gonna have to click on this and transfer again. It means we don't have enough thrust, but that's okay. We can just wait for it to go around again and then do our burn again. And we should still be okay. And we have 180 more to go. So once it says zero, that means you have an encounter. So if we zoom in on Mars now, we'll be able to see where we're going to be going. And we want this to be as close to Mars as possible without being inside of its atmosphere, which you can see just tapping the key moves it a ton, just a tiny bit of RCS. We want it ideally inside of these. You can see it kind of moves by itself, but once you start time warping, that'll stop. So I'm gonna see if I can just wait and get it like right here, there. And then if you start time warping, it locks it, which I don't know how realistic that is, but that's how the game works. So I have 21% of our fuel. Okay, perfect. So this is the area we're gonna be coming in. So I'm actually just gonna time warp till we're like approaching Mars. So you'll see us leave the sphere of influence of Earth right there. And now we're traveling uh, basically just around the sun until we meet up with Mars right here. So now we're getting close to Mars, exciting. And we're going to need to slow down to get an orbit of it about right here. We'll start slowing down right here. So ideally, burning off the rest of this will get us an orbit. And it looks like that'll be perfect. So I think I built a rocket almost perfect first try, which is actually pretty crazy because I never do that. <laughs> so you can see our orbit being brought down. I'm actually going to wait till we're closer so we can get a very circular orbit because wherever you are, it's going to lower the exact opposite point. So if you want it to be circular, you're going to want to lower it right at the lowest point. Okay, that should work for us right here. Awesome. Okay, yeah, I built the rocket almost perfect. That's awesome. So we don't need this section anymore. So now we have this part, which is our command pod, and then this part, 
part, which is the lander. Basically, we need the lander to go down and land on each one of these, Phobos, Deimos, and Mars, and then come back and dock with our command module. I think I'm gonna go for the moons first, and if I absolutely have to, I'm gonna refuel, which I don't know how that will affect the challenge, but we're gonna do it anyway. We're gonna undock, switch to this, Okay, we're in our lander now. So I'm just gonna get out of the way so I don't run into this. And we want to go, let's go to Deimos first and then we can hit Phobos on the way back. So let's, now we just have another transfer window. So this is pretty easy. We just kind of have to go. Okay, we need to accelerate 205. It's just like going to the moon. Turn on these and then start accelerating. We'll see how the fuel is after these two moons. It's kind of doing a wide encounter. It should be okay though. And with these moons, you don't need to get in orbit before you land. You can kind of just straight up land on them because you'll see we're going to get pretty close just like this. There's no point in wasting fuel. So I'm just going to time warp to like here and like immediately you want to start slowing down like this. Here we go. Oh, I wonder if our orbit is opposite of the moons, which is gonna make this a lot harder. I'll make sure it's not when I go to uh, Deimos. Cause if it is, that's gonna use a ton of fuel. I might actually wanna revert and make sure. Cause if you're going opposite directions, it's almost impossible to slow down in time. You can see I would, but this would use like all the fuel. Okay, now we're going this way. I think I'm gonna stick it for this one, but I'm gonna make sure we're doing better on the other side. Now we should be able to go in for the landing. Oh, I'm aiming a little bit up, so I'm actually gonna go, here, we can just use RCS and make this go down. So still 64%. And if we're already going the correct way now, cause we're, we fixed it if we were going the wrong way, I think we were. So we won't have to do that again with the other moon. What's this, this one's Deimos, right? Yeah, so then we just have to land on Phobos. Okay, if we zoom out, we should be able to see it. Yeah, there it is. Okay, here we go, we're going down. The gravity is so low on these, it doesn't hardly pull at all. See, you can see my velocity is not even increasing. Barely, barely is. So you're pretty safe, like going decently quick into it because it's not really gonna make you speed up. And then you just use RCS to slow down. Here we go. Okay, landed on Deimos. So that is one of three things that we have to land on with this lander. Now we have to launch off of Deimos and get to Phobos. I just wanna see what direction. So they're both going clockwise. Yeah, so we're going counterclockwise around, which that's why it took so much fuel. So if you're trying this mission, make sure that when you get into orbit of Mars, you're doing it in clockwise, cause that'll save you fuel. So I messed up, but we're gonna, I think I can still make the mission work. Cause now that I'm going clockwise, I can meet up with Phobos easier. I'm gonna just launch off and just get out of the sphere of influence of Deimos. So we're leaving, but then we can just slow down hopefully to meet up with Phobos and we won't use a ton of fuel doing that. Okay, so we're gonna navigate to Phobos. We gotta wait till the transfer window, we'll work to that. Right here, yep, this is gonna be perfect. We just have to slow down 72 and we will... So yeah, this is the correct way to do it. You wanna be going clockwise and that would have saved me a ton of fuel. I should have definitely done that. Okay, we have an encounter. Okay, that's perfect. So I'm just gonna work to the encounter and then immediately start slowing down. Not even, we're not even going that fast relative to Bobos, right? So it should be really easy to plan a landing right like this. Okay, so we're basically already gonna land. There it is, Phobos, right? Phobos, I, why do I keep getting mixed up? Pho yeah, Phobos, we're landing on Phobos now. So we landed on Deimos, now we're landing on Phobos. And we still have about half fuel, which is perfect. And Mars does have an atmosphere, so I should have used some parachutes. Dang, I totally could have done this mission better, but I still think it's possible with the stuff I have. If you're trying to do this mission, add parachutes to your lander and make sure that you're going in for a clockwise orbit around Mars. But for first attempt, honestly, not too bad. Give me the landing. There we go, land on Phobos. So we've landed on Deimos and Phobos. Now we just gotta land on Mars. So same thing now, I'm gonna launch off just to get out of here and then just slow down enough to land on Mars. I'm gonna just not refuel cause I still have half of the fuel and it should just be slow down and then taking off should it be too bad. I just have to get in orbit. So I think we're gonna be okay. Okay, escape the sphere of influence of Phobos. Now we literally just have to slow down. Okay, here we go, we're slowing down. See the orbit shrinking? And I am gonna try to let the atmosphere slow me down. So I'm kind of gonna go like this. Here we go, we're going for the landing on Mars. Here we go. Okay, we just have to make sure we don't burn up, which it's getting there. Come on. Okay, it's now cooling down. So I don't have to worry about burning anymore. I think we're good. It's going up a tiny bit. How much fuel do you think I need to get it back into orbit? I have no idea, actually. I think I'm gonna go for the suicide burn because that's gonna save the most fuel. Um, I think I'm gonna start burning about right here. We don't wanna burn up. It's getting close. This is scary. Okay, I'm burning now. I do not wanna burn up and it's getting there. There we go, okay, we're cooling down. Doing okay. Okay, I think I can wait a little bit more. Okay, we're going pretty much straight down now. We go. 
This is so scary. And go. Oh, I think that was pretty close. Oh, I could have done it later. Tw about 20% left. Oh, no. The landing legs broke, but we shouldn't need them anymore because that was the last thing we had to land on. Okay, we landed on all three. 23% fuel. Let's see if we can redock and take this thing home. So we have to launch and go to the left because our command pod is going counterclockwise. So I'm gonna wait for it to be about right here and hopefully we can just get the dock on the launch because that'll save the most fuel. This is the hardest way, but the best way to do it. You wait for it to be a little bit further than yours. Like probably about there, maybe a little more. And then you just launch towards it. So here we go. We really need to get in orbit with this fuel. Please, 15, 14, push it into space. 10%? Uh-oh. I am so scared right now. I don't know if I'm gonna make it. We're slowing down too much. I just need to barely get it in orbit. And I think I can. And then I can bring this closer. Okay. Oh, this is so scary. We're reaching outer space, and then I should be able to boost sideways, and hopefully 10% is enough to get us into orbit. Please. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, 3.5% fuel left, and we made it into orbit. I actually went a little too much into orbit. And slow down a little bit. I'm gonna see if I can use the rest of that to navigate to this. Hey, we should actually be able to do this. Oh my gosh, this is like the closest I've ever cut it on a mission. Oh, oh, we're gonna basically meet it. So on our next trip around, we'll get really close to our command pod right here. So let's do this. Okay, so we're gonna focus on, oh no, 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 no. Wait, wait, they're moving. Go towards it. They got really close, I missed the closest point. Okay, we're doing okay now. We need our velocity to be positive and our side velocity to be zero. Okay, we should be able to see it. There it is, okay. We're doing. We're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. 1% fuel left and we're gonna dock it. Here it comes. We used 99% of the lander's fuel, but we did manage to get the dock, dock. There we go, okay. Oh my gosh, okay. I really, really hope this gets us the challenges. This landed, you saw it, landed on Phobos, Deimos, and Mars in one launch without docking. So technically, I should be able to leave it now. Just to be safe, I think I'm gonna bring this thing back to Earth's orbit, just in case I actually have to land this, and we're gonna return back to Earth now. I'm gonna wait for this transfer window. It looks like there's a very, very tight window, and I'm probably not gonna get it. So I kind of just have to burn out of Mars's sphere of influence, and then we can, once I'm kind of in orbit of the sun, we can do another transfer window. Transfer window. It looks like our astronauts might be waiting a whole nother year. Okay, 56 slowdown, perfect. Actually not too bad. So we actually are going to get in Earth orbit just so I can save that lander just in case that's the only way to get the challenge. On our way home to Earth. We'll do kind of a high orbit because it doesn't really matter. This orbit is just in case we don't get the challenge, which would make me very mad. <laughs> Okay, we are in orbit, so we're gonna leave the lander up here in orbit, and then we're taking this back to the surface. Okay, don't hit that. Oh, that was close. We're good. As long as we're skimming the atmosphere, we'll be good. Just like that. Then we can break off. Okay, here we go. Down to Earth. Parachute's good. And landed, okay. Oh, we did it, Mars Grand Tour. Okay, so that worked. Yes! I don't know why I didn't get the moon one then. Okay, that actually gave us, look, it gave us Mars and Phobos and Deimos. We got all three of these sections now completed. Perfect, okay. Leave a like on this video if you want to see me do Venus or Mercury or any of these really. How many more we got? All of the moons of Jupiter. We're almost there actually. Okay, I think I'm gonna try for Venus, which is one of the hardest ones. If you've seen my other Venus video, you'll know what I'm talking about. Leave a like on this video if you wanna see more of this. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.